need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bug has been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Rubble everywhere. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. This here is Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. 
Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only Beckham. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Raphael Ellen, Kedmil Foli, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must. The details do not interest me. Geralt. You've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. Skelliger. Please, Geralt. There's nothing left to say. Yen. No more. Please. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift doing this curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin.
Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip. And is this... <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see you, jumps right into a we've a curse to live, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things, through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she... Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's got to have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck.
damn it, you piece of shit! Uh oh. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed? Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Is that so? Very well then. Listen, you shagged my friend for upwards of a year. I cannot know what your witch's code says on the matter, but ordinary folk would consider it obscene, base, vile. I try not to think about it. That stupid bed was making it difficult. That's that. Yen, told you already, I lost my memory. And I've lost my patience! <laughs> The Eskel's prints. No one else has left the keep recently. 